Okay. All right. I think we did it. All right, I think we're live. <laughs> but whoever's out there, if you guys want to leave comments there, we'll be able to see uh, who else is watching and uh, feel free to ask any questions for us. We got two on there right now, so I guess we'll get started. Uh, so, Davey, since you're my guest here, we're here at my farm, Mallard 5 Farmhouse. Davey's my guest. Uh, why don't you explain what your channel is? We're back. All right. If you all can uh, hear us, uh, leave a comment there and let us know. Yeah, it should pop up. Is that a... Uh... Let's see. Live chat. Uh, so, Davey, since you're my guest here, we're here at my farm. All right, you got a lag, a lag on the... All right, uh, can you all hear us all right? <clears throat> you got three in there. Pull that up, man. I, I hit that. All right, they're visible. Hopefully, y'all can see us and we're not breaking up or anything. Uh, this is my first time never trying this, so bear with us. Yeah, we're we're still learning this. <clears throat> yeah, as I was saying, uh, CJ he invited us down for this, and uh, he's actually going to give me some some hay which I'm thankful for, but we took a quick tour of his place there. Um, beautiful views, excellent fields. Um, any man who wants to farm would want a place like this. So uh, thanks, CJ. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm glad you could make it down. It was nice meeting uh, your family and your cute little daughters. And they're in there in the house right now playing with each other and yep. having a good time. So, but uh, yeah, so the reason i started my youtube channel was uh actually i'm sure a lot of y'all know mike morgan's with outdoor with the morgans <clears throat> i seen what he was doing with his uh kubota tractor and the steel chainsaws and i was like wow you know i love to watch him and his videos and uh so i started my channel uh basically trying to do some of the things that he did on his just for the fact that that's the things that i love to do as well i love to cut firewood I just got the new LS tractor. I love being on it and uh, really just working around the, the property. We also got uh, three goats, uh, seven chickens. We just had two hogs and uh, we sent them to the butcher there last month. <clears throat> and that's our hobby farm. So who knows what we're going to get into in the future there. <clears throat> but uh, I'm sure if you all follow the channel, I'll keep you all updated on it. You, you sound a lot like me. I started my channel because of Capper Outdoors. He was the first one I really started watching. He was doing his tractor videos. And so I started my channel, and if, if you remember, it started out as Drake Outdoors. Yeah. And because at that time, I was just gonna do tractor videos, food plots, you know, cutting firewood, stuff outside. And then I got to watching Outdoors with the Morgans too. But we took a little break from uh, YouTube after we started it, and I got to thinking, uh, we're doing a farmhouse here too. And I started watching uh, Wabi Sabi, 1806 Stonehouse, which Lucas, thank you for the video yesterday. I've gained 30 subscribers today. And uh, we started watching these these couple channels and I said, hey, people like watching renovation videos too. So we renamed the channel from Drake Outdoors to Mallard 5 Farmhouse. And we still do tractor videos and firewood videos, which I don't know if people, getting sick of watching us do firewood videos but uh, I sure we enjoy not. making them right that's uh that's one of my favorite things to do is cut firewood so hopefully y'all can bear with us through these uh these fall months here as we prepare for the winter speaking of that <clears throat> how much are you ready for winter or? well uh actually here in ohio eastern ohio yesterday the temperatures dropped and uh <laughs> it's been in the 50s um the lows in the 40s at night time so it's actually starting. We we fired up the. Um, it's more of a decorative furnace, but it's a uh, an inserted fireplace in our living room. We had that burning, and uh, but I think I have about half my wood cut. I'd like to think that I'm about halfway through with it. I know I have a lot more yet to cut. I have a lot of trees down. I just <clears throat> I just need to get out there and uh, cut them up and split them up. But uh, an update for our farmhouse. If you haven't 
if you don't know, we've been changing out windows and we've been insulating walls. Last night, like he said, it got down to 40 degrees. I went to bed last night, the house was 71 degrees, and this morning it was 68. So, big improvement from last winter. Yeah, it felt really <laughs> nice and cozy there. Hey, Skitter Kev. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for uh, joining us there. Can you all hear us all right? <clears throat> Hopefully you all can. So talk about the, let's talk about our tractors. Why, why did you choose an LS? I know you was thinking about Branson, you was thinking about Rural King. No doubt. So uh, if you follow the channel, you'll know I've got quite a few videos there starting out that were, uh, all right, Skipper Kev, you can hear us fine. Great. Good. Thanks, Kelsey. Yep. And uh, I started out, I really, I fell, I fell in love with the Rural King tractor there. But at the same time, I wasn't, um, I didn't know too much about the LS tractor. So I did a lot of research on it. Um, and it came down to basically having between the LS, the Rural King, and the Branson. And uh, <clears throat> to me, it felt like uh, the LS, it had more features that it came with um, right off the get-go. It had the extendable three-point lengths, the rear three-point control behind the fenders, which to me, that's a huge help when you're trying to hook up a box blade <laughs> or something heavy. I wish I had that. And, uh, and that and along the Rural King and the LS had real similar um, hydraulic capabilities with the loader. Um, the RK will lift a, a decent amount more with the three point, but I didn't find that an issue because I think they can lift uh, around 2,000 pounds. I don't have anything that heavy. So um, front end loader capabilities are pretty much the same on them, but uh, I really like the LS. And I, I took uh, CJ and, and my father, Dave, uh, he, these two both, kind of guided me down the path of the LS and I'm very impressed with it. So. Yeah, we both bought our uh, LS tractors. I have an XR 4040, 40 horsepower. Uh, we both bought them from the same dealer, Mendenhall Farms, over in uh, Denison, Ohio. Yeah. And uh, if you ever want to deal with some good, straight up people, I, I'd recommend them. It's been a while, around a while, it, uh, it seems like. Yeah. And, uh, well, then Real friendly. That's why I bought mine because my uh, my dad has an LS and my uncle they both have LS tractors. And if if you don't know, LS is basically a New Holland without the name. It's the same right. same tractor. Yeah, LS they actually build uh, the Boomer and Workmaster series for New Holland. Yes. So that uh, I feel like if New Holland trusts LS to make their tractors, that it's probably a decent product. Yeah. And so far, I'm not uh, not upset at all. I have 55 hours on mine, and I I haven't had any serious problems at all. The only only problem I have had is it'll uh, just kick off on me while the PTO is engaged, and I think I figured it out. I think I was. Just, hey Fernhill. Hey Fernhill. I think I was resituating in my seat because. I took Davy out in my fields. They're not exactly flat. <laughs> so, right. so my weight is shifting to one side. I think that was the problem. I'm trying to stay, you know, more centered in my seat now, and I haven't had any, any trouble since. So. Tell you, it's funny you're saying that because uh, I actually had a similar event, and here I found out I just had my uh, seat tension too tight. Oh, yeah? And it was keeping me uh, – I'd bounce up off the button, and it would start to shut down. So, yeah, so that pretty much solved it for me. Having if, that's, had it. if that's the biggest problem we end up having, then – we're doing pretty good because I, I really enjoy mine. I've got a lot of work done with mine. I've, I got the log splitter for it now. I got the disc for it, and I, I want some other attachments. I want I want one of those uh, stump grinders like you and your dad's got. Yes, that thing <laughs> in the chipper is handy. I tell yeah. you, I'm uh, I'm hoping to one day get a, a grapple unit for my front end loader. Yes, that would be handy. Yes. Uh, any uh, viewers out there with tractors that? Uh, Y'all got anything to say about uh, any particular brands? I know some people were uh, definitely John Deere and Kubota fans, and I don't want to knock those tractors at all. They're great machines, and they're just a little out of my price range. So, Yeah, yeah I've, I've also considered the Rural King tractors. Like, like we said, we both like watching outdoors with the Morgans, and I haven't seen him have any trouble with all three of the tractors that he's got. Right. So, I'd keep them in mind too. I'd... Definitely, that uh, little RK twenty four that would be handy for mowing grass. Oh, it would be little odds and end jobs. Yeah. Oh. If I if I end up getting one, it might be the RK twenty four. Right. For for mowing grass, like you said, 
yes, and, no doubt. And, and you could do firewood with that, you know, hauling it around in the front end loader. And, yeah. So, see, Dave, you got any uh, plans for animals or anything on the farm in the future? Or? Uh, eventually. Right now, the goal is to get the house. You'll never get it done, but we want to get it in livable condition where everybody's got their own bedroom and, you know, the bathrooms are done. So we're a couple, probably two, three years out before we even consider getting animals. But like, you got like an excellent you, place for them, no <laughs> like doubt. Said, It's kind of a waste if we don't, because I took them up in the barn. We got a we got a nice big oh, barn. And, huge barn. Really, yeah. really cool. I want to take another tour of it here later. Yeah, so. and we got we got fields and it, it'd really be a waste to not get animals and i i want our daughters to grow up you know with the responsibility of taking care of animals and and uh learning how to do some some outside chores and work you know that's how that's how i was raised right that's good for them yeah and uh i don't know if you all follow my channel or not but we got acres there and uh we're just small scale you know we got a couple goats and uh the same principle i wanted the my daughters to grow up with uh, responsibility and you know get them acclimated to farm life compared to always on their phones or electronics and things yeah. you see a lot nowadays so yeah we're probably the oddballs of our generation now, right you know no doubt <laughs> we probably should have been about 30 years yeah. before yeah but uh yeah thank goodness for youtube right yeah <laughs> and, and speaking of that uh i know davies feels the same way thank you to all, everybody <laughs> subscribes to our channel it makes it all worthwhile that's that's like we said while we started doing it we wanted to share what we do what part of ohio are, are we from well we're what 35 miles apart we figured that right, out today yeah uh south eastern ohio kind um, of well, eastern ohio we'll say um, belmont like, county uh we're both right along the high river so i'm in monroe county right along the river i just took davy out to the overlook <laughs> you can see the river yeah. <laughs> so that's where we're from like you said it's Winter starting to set in around here. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, where are uh, some of our viewers from? I know there's not many people in here yet. Hopefully we get a little bigger crowd. I see uh, there's six of them out there. Uh, it's kind of really neat to see. Uh, I know we were talking about analytics. <clears throat> and uh, Anything outdoors with Dave? Hi. Hey. And uh, yeah, it's, it's neat. It shows you where everyone's watching from. And it's kind of amazing how many different countries actually see some of this stuff. Well, that's actually how we met. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah. When did you start your YouTube channel? I'm coming up on a year now. I okay, believe. you're a year. I started yeah. end of January. January 30th was my first video pulling a locust tree down at the LS. And <clears throat> we, <coughs> Portage County, just south of Akron. Okay. All right. Yep. Not too far away there. Yep. Uh, well, we started our YouTube channel. Well, I was looking around on YouTube and ended up seeing Ohio Hilltops Hobby Farm. I said, well, that's pretty neat. That's where we live. I never thought he would just live right up the river. And, right. And it ended up over this past, you know, eight months, yeah. building a friendship here. It feels like we've known each other for a long time. <laughs> it, it does. It does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was, that was ironic. When he told me where he lived, I was like, wow, you're really close. Yeah. Just uh, a stone's throw away, you said. Yeah. <laughs> and there's actually been a couple of YouTubers that aren't very far um, away from us that we find out. He got his outside bowler fired far, up. Yes, that's uh, no doubt. It's it's coming to that weather now. I'm holding out, but I'm <laughs> probably got to start a fire tonight. I didn't do one last night. But I'm probably gonna have to do one tonight. Yeah, you you started one. Yeah, just a, a temporary one. It went out before we left, but uh, I'm sure we might go home. And it's just comfortable and cozy to sit in front of the fire in the living room there. And oh yeah, yeah. Um, so I probably, I'm going to try to hold out on the boiler just because once it starts, it doesn't stop. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. It does. Yeah. And uh, what about your, uh, your hogs? Are you going to get them next winter? Yes. Or? So um, again, I, I got these hogs, I think in, in June and I clueless really on how long they'd take or how quickly they'd raise up and uh, got them in June <clears throat> and we butchered them the end of uh, August, I believe. So we got them close to 100 pound and they dressed out each at around 200 pounds of meat a piece. So <laughs> grew way quicker than I thought, but my plans were to get them and uh, feed them out till the winter when it was cool enough and I could butcher them myself. That wasn't the case. So next year, 
I don't know. It was pretty easy going to the butcher, but next year I would like to get them maybe around uh, September, October time frame, and maybe like a, a summer litter and uh, butcher them next winter. Well, they'd be ready about when? Uh, well, I would say those hogs were probably... The last two leaves in 10 um, days. Huh. Yeah, I don't... They'd be I'd ready. say six months, I'm guessing. I'm not sure how old they were when I got them. But I know I only had them for two months, and they grew almost 200 pounds, so. I know. Going back to, uh, going back through the videos for your channel, you whenever you unloaded them, that yes. show was a whole lot harder than when you loaded uh, them back up. Right. <laughs> that was a funny, you should check that video out if you want a good laugh. I had no good way of unloading these from the back of my pickup truck, so I was able just to grab them and kind of manhandle them off of there. May have pulled my back. I'm not sure. I probably did, but busted your eardrum, probably. <laughs> yes, Sque squealing. Had earplugs when I took them out from the house, but picking them up that was a miserable time there. Well, we got five viewers and seven likes. Thank you. Yes, it's great. And uh, any of you guys out there uh, watching have uh, started up their wood places there, or fireplaces. Is anybody yeah. out there hunting hunting yet? Any big bucks down? Yeah, that's a good point too. Yeah, we was out there. We was looking at my feeder and uh, where I got my trail cameras and stuff. We had, we brought the SD card in. We haven't checked it yet. I was showing them some bucks from last year. Got some dandies walking around. <laughs> yeah. That was the the big one. I never heard of it going down. I haven't seen it yet this year, so I hope he's still alive. But <clears throat> that's part of the reason why I wanted to move to Ohio across the river. <laughs> There's some big ones over here. <laughs> no doubt. And I tell you, to be honest. Until here recently, I haven't even gotten in like the, the urge to hunt. It's been 70, 80, 90 degrees yeah. there a week and a half ago. Oh, well, it was, uh, I think it was 85 on <clears throat> Monday or Tuesday. Right. And now, I here just, we are at 50. It just, <laughs> it hasn't felt right for me yet. So I haven't dug down into that deer hunting mode yet, but I'm sure it'll be coming here in a week or so. So I need to get the bow out and do some practicing and make sure it's still shooting true. I just showed Davey my uh, food plot. I tried to soybeans. I made the mistake. I didn't listen to everybody. Put a fence around them. They, they didn't mess with them at first, but then they demolished them. Send them to. You. Send, Send them to ever. Well, what do you mean with that, Dave? He, he probably that's uh that's my father there, y'all, and uh, he's probably got a spell check on, and it's probably switching the words up for him. He, <laughs> he's always complaining about that. Send them to West Virginia. Oh, the big bucks! Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll keep them over here, uh, Dave. <laughs> he's got a he's got a couple of nice ones there at his place. He's got in and out, so uh, they're over there. They're just kind of hard to hard to get them under. I'm gonna subscribe to Dave after we're done. Right. <laughs> he did. He did have a video. Does he? Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. This. Uh, this is our first live experience here, and you know it's it's <laughs> that's that any uh, anything outdoors with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the wives are in the house watching this, probably making fun of us. <laughs> right. Nah. When with that being said, you know we're not real sure how long we're gonna keep the live chat up but it is pretty interesting Man, and uh, we've been over here for almost 20 minutes already right hopefully we get some more people in and uh if not like i said this is our first time so yeah we can so. we can do it again we'd like to have you all down again right and uh, maybe y'all venture up north this is yeah. shade there yeah help you out uh, with some firewood or oh something. man that would be great yeah man. that'd be a blast <laughs> uh, that's my kind of fun i, I don't know if if we're both messed up or what, oh, I, don't know. I think we like going and breaking our backs more than <laughs> hard work is, is fun for us. Right? Yeah, no, and, it's uh, a sense of accomplishment for me, and especially with the house too. <clears throat> Just the uh, the way that house that house was not too far. The baby fell asleep. <laughs> well, that's good. Huh? good. At least we're soothing. Uh, good. <laughs> yeah, the ha our house was not too far from being, you know, too far gone with the windows and leaks and stuff. So I was telling Davey, I had water coming through my wall before I got the, the house wrapped the other day. Yeah. You right. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's right. It's yeah, just, uh, there's being something. outside, you know. There's something addicting about being outside and cutting your own firewood, and especially 
heating your own place with firewood. You right. throw that in there, and you know you're heating your family or keeping your family warm. And and, it, and you know it's cost effective. It at is, least, yeah. at least for me. You know, it, it seems is for that me way. too. Yeah, that's the electric bill goes way down in the winter. That's um, when we moved into our place up there. Um, actually, all they had was the electric heat and that kind of inefficient fireplace in the living room. And I asked them, you know, what what's your usual monthly electric bill? And they went on to say, well, about four to five hundred dollars a month. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I knew then that's when I needed an outdoor boiler yeah. ASAP. So. That's, that's like I mentioned in oh one of my couple videos ago, how we heat our farmhouse. When we moved in there, we was told the wood stove was in good working condition, and the previous owner lied. It was all burned up. I had to get parts replaced in the wood stove. So the three coldest weeks of that winter of 2017. We mm -hmm. had to run the electric furnace because it's a wood electric furnace. That's all we had. And so a month later, get a bill for $730 some oh, dollars. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, that... I told her we're never running the electric again unless, you know, unless you have to. But, right. And, uh, but that, that really hurt. With uh, the house going on there, you got any uh, projects you're going to be working on outside soon or any videos we should expect to see coming out? It's going to be when we're going to be going on vacation here for a week, but when we get back, it, I'm going to be hitting that living room real hard. Cause I want to get that done in time for Kelsey to decorate for Christmas, but I'm also going to be hitting the firewood really hard too at the same time. Cause I, I can't just focus on one thing. I got to be doing like six different things at a time. And <laughs> even in the house, I'm doing all kinds of, I got the girl's room and I've got the living room going on right now. So Lots of work going on. Yeah, there. Just, you're making good progress. That's yeah, for sure. It all gets done eventually. It just <laughs> I jump back and forth from everything. We when it, when we uh, arrived at the house, you know, he's like, "Well, how's it feeling here?" It's like it feels warm, you know. Yeah, it says it's making a big difference. Uh, yeah, I've never even had a fire today. So. Yeah, that's, and it's that's been great. cool all day. <laughs> it's definitely breezy out there. A little chilly. Yeah, so. good uh, good flannel weather. Yes, this is the the best time of the year, right. I think. And the humidity's gone finally. And, finally, and I noticed. Uh, Actually, it's hasn't rained in about well. This would be day two, and uh, yeah. my my trails, <laughs> streak. yeah, my my trails are actually kind of drying up. And usually, with that humidity and stuff, it it takes before through the summer, it take a good four or five days before I could really feel comfortable getting on some of the hills and stuff on my property due to just the moisture. Rain the night, yeah, right. right See, had to burst a bubble. Right, day. two days was long <laughs> enough. This is all we get. So. <clears throat> Yeah. Any uh, any certain topic uh, you guys want to talk about on there? Anything? Uh, any questions for us about some of our hobbies or or uh, is there any recommendations for our videos? Right, that's is a good there, one. Is there anything you you guys would like to see? I know, I know, we both do firewood. He wishes. It won't right. be long. It won't be long. And with that snow, I wish the cold temperatures come because I dislike it whenever it just snows and it's just a slushy mess out yes. there with the mud. So if it snows, just make it cold. That's yeah. all I ask for. Yeah, freeze up the ground. Uh, but, but yeah, if if you have any recommendations for the videos, like I know with the farmhouse videos, I, I don't know if you'd want me to go in more detail about what I'm doing or do you like it? I try to keep it entertaining. That's why I go from clip to clip and... I don't. I don't want it to be boring. I don't. I want people to like it. But if if no. there's any recommendations like that, or for or firewood videos, or... right? Yes, I try not to drag on the same scene at the same time. But at the the same time, you know, we were talking about hard work and stuff. You kind of just want to get it get it done. But uh, I really enjoy videoing everything, and uh, it's a pretty good hobby. I like that. Oh, know? it is. It's fun. Yeah. Time consuming, but fun. Yeah, I like putting in a full day's work and then going inside sitting at the computer and then editing a video right. and uploading it seeing who all likes it and and the commenting please keep commenting because i i'm like like you i'll enjoy reading all of them right definitely the more support that we receive the more inter interesting it is for us yes. so uh, i like the comments and like we said before any recommendations and uh things like that i try to i really try to stay engaged with uh all the viewers and things there's your mom <laughs> All right, hey, mom. <laughs> My parents are either too scared to say anything, or they didn't even get on there. Right, they're, they're up at the lake right now. Hey, CJ, what did he hasn't seen it no, yet? No, he hasn't. We we haven't been to that side of the garage yet. We've been all over the property, but we haven't been over to the 
Well, to the other messy side, that's why I told him when he got here, I'm in a mess everywhere. The barn's a mess, the garage is a mess, and the house is definitely a mess. But Shoot, I know. We, Whenever he got the log splitter there, it's just three or four days before I seen it at Rural King. Yeah, I remember you. And I was really looking over, like, man, this would be handy. And I go right back and it's gone. I'm like, ah! <laughs> it was me. He, he, he ended up snagging it up. So I'm, uh, I'm curious about seeing that. The funny thing was, I, uh, picked that up and then the rural king tractor salesman was one of the guys that helped me get in the truck mm -hmm. he was trying to sell me a rk tractor right there <laughs> he right. gave me his number he said come back test drive at any time these, these guys are super friendly over there no yeah. doubt uh, but uh the one thing that the one thing i do like about the rk tractors if something ever does happen like, if something happens with my LS, I have no way of uh, taking it back to Mendenhall's to get it fixed. He's either going to have to come here or he's going to have to come here, load it up, then take it back, then load it up, bring it back. Right. Rural, Rural King has a truck, a mobile truck that goes around and fixes tractors. Right. So that, so that's a that's big a, deal for That's me. a good selling point, actually, you know, and uh, like I said, I'm thankful for my LS, but that is one of the downfalls. You know, he he's about... 45 50 minutes away from my house and from here it'd probably be yeah, hour and a half two hour, hours hour and a half, yeah. right and uh but they they would gladly come and get it and do the work for us but it is you know not as luxurious as it costs you even that. more there's dad all right i'm glad I'm glad you got on there dad <laughs> <laughs> hope the lake is good up there for you yeah i don't out at the lake today or they're up uh up around Lake Erie there. Oh. We'll be five minutes south of it. Nice. We're camping. Good no, camping. That'd be a good time. We yeah. used to go up to uh, Geneva on the lake and, and camp up there when I was younger. So that was a, always a good time. This is the best time of year to be outside. And no doubt. I love this weather. You can get a lot of work done and it's not miserable. So um, if you follow my channel uh, here soon, we're going to be doing more uh, land clearing projects now that the leaves are going to be coming off. Cleanup's a lot easier. The brush is going to be dying down. And uh, th those goats, man, they are brush machines. Yeah. So uh, I'll be posting a follow-up video on the progress they've made. We've got yeah. about a half acre lot and three, um, they're probably seven months old, little does, but they do work on the brush, so. Have you had any trouble with them getting inside of the fence at all? No, um, let's see. Hey, right, we hope so. We hope uh, the LS won't break down. <laughs> I, I was telling CJ earlier there, uh, you know, if I feel like if New Holland trusts LS to make uh, part of their Workmasters and Broomer Series tractors, I got pretty good faith in them yeah. as well. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. But uh, no, the, that little fence setup I've got, it's really working pretty good. Um, and actually, today, I don't even think I turned it on. They, you know, they're miming the fence now, so they're, oh, not, they? they're not even testing right. it. That's so good. They learned pretty quick with that. And back with that, whenever... Uh, you know, in a couple of years, you're saying you'd want to get some animals. What uh, what are you looking into getting? Well, I, I like what you did with the hogs this year. Yeah, I think, I think that's something I would start out with, is the hogs. And um, mm -hmm. you see around here, I I have the potential to possibly get some cattle too right. at some point. What uh, size is your LS? My LS, it's a thirty-one thirty-five, a thirty-five um horsepower, and it's a series. The frame size smaller than CJ's. Um, I forget the weight of it, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's enough tractor for me. You know, he, I he's got, got a backhoe, Dad. I'm, yeah. I'm very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I figured if I was getting it, I might as well go big and bite the bullet now. As my dad always says, you know, he remembers buying his three point for his '65 horse New Holland tractor, and uh, the price just keeps. He's jealous too. <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, the back is the implements are just getting more and more expensive. So, oh yeah, he told me he's like, you know, if you feel like you're going to get one, go ahead and get it now. Yeah, and otherwise you're going to be paying at least as much, probably more in the future. I should have got one. So, because but that would come in handy because package package deal, yeah. right? Yeah, and they actually did give me uh, I think it was like a thousand dollar reduction on the yeah. back. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. I should have. I should have done it. Of course, I was, I was kind of tight for money at that time. But I knew I needed a tractor, right? Because I moved here and the field started growing up, and I didn't have a tractor, so that was something I had had to get. But a backhoe would come in handy because that's 
that's one of the projects for next spring, I'm guessing. Uh, right now, the basement leaks when it rains, so mm. I need to put a French drain in. Right. Uh, Backo would come in handy. I'll probably probably have to end up renting one, just like I did the JLG yep. there a w- week or two ago. But, Shoot. But that's one. That's another project that I'll be doing. <laughs> then, of course, finish uh, siding the house. That's going to be coming. Right now, we're we're buckled down for winter. I'm going to focus on the inside in uh, firewood. Right so on. That, that'll be our our projects. Um. And I'm actually uh, working on a video now. I'm trying to obtain enough firewood clips to make a solid firewood video. So. Yeah, you gave us a little teaser in that video. Yeah, yeah well, we'll go round up the firewood and then yeah, I the cut ne- it short. Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure uh, I get enough footage because I don't know. I like watching firewood videos that really get in deep to the firewood. So that's what I'm trying to pursue. Oh so. yeah, get you all a lot of action. And try to get some some good clips to try not to bore you all. I know at the Paul Bunyan show. We got to talking about uh, Mike Morgan's. You can cut mine. Yeah, right. Only if I get to use that sawmill. <laughs> there you go. That's a good bargaining chip there. But we was talking about outdoors with the Morgans. How he has wood uh, wood stack twenty eighteen going on right now. Right. And we both kind of chuckled about it, saying we're just happy to have enough wood. You're on. All right, <laughs> I'll take you up on it then. <laughs> yeah. But we're just happy to have enough wood to get us through the winter you know we don't care about the stack and i don't feel like i have the time nor the patience to make it look real pretty you know i want it i want the boiler and i want it ready to burn yeah that's pretty enough just having it right there ready to go right (laughs) the more i can get stacked there the better off i am so because i was burning it so quick (sighs) before we got these windows changed and all that like like my dad said i was pretty much heating a pole barn (laughs) (laughs) hey that's a good way to look at it there mike isn't yes he is Yep. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying earlier. You know, he was kind of my inspiration to do the YouTubing. So, yep. and, uh, again, we both follow follow Capper Outdoors, another really good one. Oh, He's not heavy in the firewood, but no, a no. lot of tractors and uh, property management. So yep. that's pretty cool. So. Anybody else have any questions that you want to ask? We're at 32 minutes already. It seems like time's flown by. Right. Yeah. We're saying we Just, might not even make it that half hour. Yeah. It's cruising along pretty good. Yeah. Thanks for the likes, everybody. And you know, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll try to um, give you all another a notice next time we're going to do this. You know, maybe get a little bigger turnout. And uh, and we're going to try, I think we're going to try to switch it up, um, go to each other's houses, you know, and do a little dual action um channel there so channel action yeah that'd be cool Full channel action <clears throat> yeah i think uh i think we had a pretty successful first live oh, i think him. so too so if, it, if nobody has anything else we'll probably just wrap this up yeah and i'm gonna go uh take another tour of the property here yeah we were a little rushed here we want to make it make yeah. it back and eat some dinner before the live so yeah. Are you re- no? He's got a nice house, Dad. It's, <laughs> oh, there's it's there's beautiful. work to be done, but uh, no. My big focus is uh, property management and firewood. Basically, the the people I bought the house off of, I got around 14 acres, and I don't think they ever really went outside. So, <laughs> I expanded my yard, and I'm trying to make some pastures. Uh, yeah, I'm building. I'm going to be building the goat barn. I got the the groundwork done for it. And, uh, and tell them where you get getting your wood from. Yeah, I got a lot of the wood from my dad's uh, sawmill, so that's going to be handy. That's pretty neat. My biggest expense is going to be the the post and the sheet metal. So for the roof, everything else, I'm going to try to do from rough cut. And uh, I'm debating whether or not to do the walls with rough cut or just use steel. But uh, definitely everything inside the stalls are going to be rough cut. But yeah, my my channel's main focus is probably shows the mostly of the tractor work and uh, working over the property trying to make improvements so and he does a great job because what you don't know is he does it all on his phone which i right. sit at, i sit at my computer for hours you know and i don't know how he does it all on his phone oh uh, he does a good job it's a little tedious but it it does work so i'm not uh i'm not super tech savvy so i'm still learning as we go yeah. tj cj was telling me some uh some tips on you know making uh <clears throat> some clicky things yeah and such, end screen uh, stuff and links to your other videos right we're learning yep so and as the channel grows you know we're each getting better videos are hopefully getting better and more yeah, entertaining hope so. so like it like 
we said before, if you have any recommendations or anything you want to see, just let us know. We need help. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know yens aren't very tech savvy. So, <laughs> hey, it's made it to the live. That's probably why it took my dad so long to comment. He's <laughs> <laughs> the same way. Yep. Yep. With fun. Yeah. Right. <laughs> ah, shoot. Oh, what do you think, Dave? You want to go load some hay? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get some hay lo loaded up there. CJ's giving me some hay, and uh, thankful for that. Yep. I appreciate no of, uh, no everyone chiming in. Yep. So, until next time, everybody, if yep. you like either one of our channels and you haven't seen us before, please like and subscribe. And, and we, welcome. And we thank uh, every one of you for watching. All right. Y'all take care. Everybody take care.